Hi, you're with Chandi, Pat Goodley once again, and wish you a very, very, very happy new year. Now, at the start of 2021, I want to talk about the last year. Now, I don't really want to talk about 2020. That was particularly bad for all of us. But I do want to talk about the same period last year DAX function. Let's just get started. All right, let's just take a look at a quick slide here. So when you start writing the same period last year DAX function, what you provide inside of that is dates. And you can typically pick up a date column of your calendar table. Once you input the date column of the calendar table, what you would get as an output is again a table with dates, just one column, but those dates will belong from the last year. So take a look at this quick example here. So I have year and the quarter of 2001 all across here. And if I happen to write the same period last year on each one of these, I'm going to get the same period, but from the last year. Take a look at Q1. So Q1 typically is 1st Jan to 31st of March. And if I happen to write the same period last year function on that, I'm going to get again all the dates 1st Jan to 31st March, but the dates will actually belong from the last year. Now, obviously, this is not a valid measure. This is obviously going to give you an error because the same period last year, remember, gives you a table as an output with just one column of dates from the last year. So we'd have to kind of work around with the table to make sure that we are actually running a single value output and not the table as an output. This would give us an error. Why don't we actually hop over to Power BI and take a look at how the same period last year function actually works. All right, I'm here in Power BI and in this little matrix that I have created, I have two very simple columns, the year column and the month column. These two have been dragged from the calendar table. And against that, I have placed my total sales measure. Now, maybe I wanted to calculate the sales of the last year. How do I do that using same period last year DAX function? So I'm quickly going to create a new measure. So I'll say new measure. And this time I'm just going to maybe make a measure called last year sales. So LY sales. And I'm going to use the calculate function. And in the calculate function, the first part is obviously an expression. What do I want to calculate? I want to calculate total sales. Now, I do not really want to calculate the total sales for the current year, which I can already see right here, but I want to calculate total sales of the last year. So I can just write maybe same period last year, and it actually asks me for a date. And if you read through this, it says that returns a set of dates in the current selection from the previous year. That means that the output of the same period last year is going to be dates, but from the last year. It's going to give me a table of dates from the last year in the current selection. So I'm just going to maybe mention the calendar date column right here, close that bracket, close that bracket, press enter. And let's just drag this little measure to our pivot table. And what we get here is the sales of the last year. So why don't we actually vet one of the numbers here? So you can see that in July of 2002, our sales was approximately 500,000. But in July of 2001, the sales was 473. So let's just go take a look at July of 2001. Is the sales 473? Yes, it is. So this measure is working absolutely fine. All right, I want to talk about two interesting things about the same period last year function. Now, the same period last year function automatically accommodates for dynamic periods. What do I mean by that? Currently, we're taking a look at year of 2001, two or three or four. And against the year, we are also taking a look at monthly sales. So we have year and the month and the sales across that. And we're taking a look at the current year sales and the last year sales. Now, what if I wanted to change that and I wanted to take a look at 2001, I mean the year and the quarter, and then take a look at the current year versus last year. So will that function work automatically or will I have to make a change? It is absolutely going to work. So take a look at this. So I'm just gonna go over to my matrix and cancel the month from here and get the quarter inside of my pivot table. So I have now year and the quarter. Let me just expand that. I have year and the quarter and sales of the current year and sales of the last year. You can see that it's working absolutely fine. Let me quickly explain. So you can see that against 2002, quarter three, we can see the sales was 1396. In the last year of Q3, the sales was 1453, and that's the number we get to see here. Now, when you write the same period last year function, the same period part actually automatically accommodates for the same period of dates that have been mentioned inside of your visual and moves those dates to the last year. You don't really have to do anything about it. So even if you're taking a look at year level or the quarter level, even to the day level, the dates will automatically be shifted to the last year. The period automatically accommodates, but the dates actually become of the same period from the last year. That was point number one. All right, interesting thing number two, since the same period last year function actually returns you a date, which is nothing but a column, uh, which contains the dates from the last year, it's a table, you can also use the same period last year 
in a different way as well to be able to calculate the same output. Let's just take a look at if you wanted to calculate the sales of the last year, how differently could we write that function? So I'm just going to maybe come to the sales table and make a new measure. And let's just call this measure as last year sales two. And I'm just going to maybe write the same period last year. And I'm just going to mention my calendar date. Now this output is going to give me a date column which is going to contain all the dates of the last year. It actually returns me a table. Now I'm just going to wrap this around in the sumx function and the first part of the sumx function is the name of the table. Which table would you like to go inside and in every single row and perform a calculation? So I would like to go inside every single row of this table which contains the dates of the last year and against every single date I'd like to calculate my total sales value. I'm just going to close the bracket, commit to that, press enter and drag that measure right into my pivot table and this actually gives me the same output as I would have got with the calculate function. So a slightly different way of using the same period last year as a table inside of the sumx. All right that was all about the same period last year DAX function. Now obviously if you have any questions haven't understood anything need my help please feel free to put down a comment and I'll be glad to reply. And if you need help with learning DAX and Power Query in a structured way, I mean, you start right from scratch and build up your knowledge and your skills to be able to solve real-time challenging problems of your own data, I highly suggest that you take a look at my DAX and Power Query courses. It's going to be highly beneficial. Have any questions, please put down a comment and I'll be glad to reply. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.